This is the Dollamore Daily, and I'm Jesse Dollar. Hey, I'm starting every video today telling you about a new project, an additional project. Nothing that I do, this show, the podcast, none of that's going away, but I've added a limited series podcast with a, uh, a good friend of mine, Ian Brinksman, and we are reviewing the 2008 HBO miniseries documenting the life and participation in the founding of America, uh, John Adams. And it is fun, it is good times, it is irreverent, it is everything you would expect. If you enjoy me in this format, <laughs> you will most certainly enjoy this. The first video posted at 2 p.m. It's already up. Uh, go check that out. If you listen to podcasts, it's also in an audio format on in any podcast app out there, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, all of them. And I sure would appreciate your support in uh, checking this out. And your comments. We've got a phone number. We're taking emails and we are having audience participation as is really, I believe, the only way to do content. Got a message for Republicans. If your Christianity, I tweeted this yesterday, if your Christianity is, is nothing but words and backed up with zero deeds, it can be disregarded. If it's just lip service, it's meaningless. If you, if you do not live an inspired Christ-like life, I don't care what you have to say about what you think the Bible says. I don't care about how you talk about how deeply devoted to your faith is on the highest of holy holidays of the, in the Christian calendar, Easter. Don't care. Here's a tweet from Lauren Boebert. Next year, Joe Biden can celebrate this so-called transgender day from his basement in Delaware. As for me and my house, we will celebrate the King of Kings and Lord of Lords who conquered death, hell, and the grave. Thank you, Lauren Boebert, for your admonition about the deeply held religious faith that you, you adhere to, that you live by, you you, you, this little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. I'm not going to hide it under a bushel. No, I'm going to let it shine, says Lauren Boebert, as she lives her life as an example of Christ's love and devotion and selflessness and sacrifice and piety. What a, what a beautiful example of the love of Jesus Christ as she gets groped in a public forum and calls her colleagues Jihad Squad, carries weapons of war proudly. Fantastic. Yesterday was Easter, and it was a Republican freakout, including Donald Trump, and we'll get to that. Uh, this banger of an all-caps tweet. On uh, the day that Christians celebrate the resurrection of the Son of God, Two things happened yesterday relative to Easter, and that was that the Trans Day of Visibility was announced by uh, Joe Biden. He didn't announce it as though it's his thing. It's March 31st and has been since 2009. 2009. But they're acting as though he picked Easter to make the day, even though it's March 31st all every year, and Easter is all kinds of different days from year to year. I don't exactly know why. <laughs> it has something to do with the calendar. Um, but Easter next year is going to be on 420. Famous weed holiday and Hitler's birthday. Are they going to blame that on whoever the president is? What? Easter's on the, uh, Hitler's birthday? This is outrageous. This is not what Jesus would want. So uh, the other thing I want to talk, I'm going to read a little bit from this political article, the political playbook, to give you a rundown of what, what the facts are here with both the Trans Day of Visibility and the Easter thing, because they're freaking out because the egg roll, the Easter egg thing, you know, the, the super Christian tradition of Easter eggs, uh, there's a, a prohibition against religious iconography on the eggs at the White House. And Republicans freaked out. Speaker Mike Johnson here... I'll get to this tweet in a minute, but House uh, White House bans religious Easter eggs from art contest, and they're acting like that was a, a, a Joe Biden thing when even under Donald Trump, that was the policy. So these good, moral, decent, honest Christians 
who have a commandment not to lie, not to bear false witness. They're lying. They're filthy liars who want you to believe that they are pious, moral, decent Christians who follow the, the, the teachings of God. Here's political playbook. Uh, it's been a tradition to celebrate Easter at the White House since President Rutherford B. Hayes. Tomorrow, thousands of kids will bounce around White House grounds, chowing down on all sorts of sweets, and what we're told will be 64,000 eggs. And almost every single year, it goes off without any real drama or partisan sniping. But 2024 is different. On Friday, the White House sent out a statement announcing that Joe Biden was declaring today as Transgender Day of Visibility. He's done that before. Every year, it's on March 31st. This year, March 31st just so happens to also be Easter, the date of which changes every year. Cue a ferocious reaction from the right with Republican lawmakers and conservative media figures attacking the Biden administration for, well, acknowledging that Trans Visibility Day coincides with Easter. This is Mike Johnson on Twitter. He says, the Biden White House has betrayed the central tenant of Easter, which is the resurrection of Jesus Christ, banning sacred truth and tradition while at the same time proclaiming Easter Sunday as Transgender Day is outrageous and abhorrent. The American people are taking note. The American people are taking note, you bigoted little freak, Mike Johnson, that you are a hateful troll. You are abhorrent. And I believe Jesus would think so too. You are twisting his words, his philosophies, into something that resembles fascism. Resembles is a very, very lenient take on it. Uh, he posted also misleading, aka lies, with these images about the Transgender Day of Visibility and the White House uh, prohibition on religious iconography on the, in the art contest with the Easter eggs. He's, he's not telling you the truth, which is a lie. This good, mighty man of Jesus representing his faith. Uh, Christy Nome, no better. VP contender for Donald Trump, governor of South Dakota, Joe Biden banned religious themed eggs at the White House Easter egg design contest for kids and announced that tomorrow is na National Transgender uh, Visibility Day. Did he forget that tomorrow is Easter, Resurrection Sunday? Joe Biden and his White House have made it clear that people of faith, particularly Christians, and our Bible-believing views have no place in his America. We must change that on November 5th by electing real Donald Trump. These people are shameless liars, but they would have you believe that they are adherents. They are faithful adherents to the philosophies found in the New Testament. And they follow a man... <laughs> who is nothing but a grifting, lying charlatan who has cheated on every single wife he's had, including uh, paying porn stars to keep their mouths shut, uh, Playboy or penthouse centerfolds to keep their mouths closed about his affairs. He files bankruptcy. He doesn't pay his bills. He is everything uh, in, in, in contrary to the philosophies of people, they the, the person they claim, these people claim to be their deity. Here was his Easter message in a true Christ-like fashion. Happy Easter to all, including crooked and corrupt prosecutors and judges that are doing everything possible to interfere with the presidential election of 2024 and put me in prison, including those many people that I completely and totally despise because they want to destroy America, a now failing nation like de deranged Jack Smith, who is evil and sick, Mrs. Fawny, Fawny Wade, he's talking about Fawny Willis, who said she hardly knew the special prosecutor, only to find that he spent years loving her long before the Georgia persecution of President Trump began, and thereby making the case against me null, void, and illegal.
And lazy on violent crime, Alvin Bragg, who with Crooked Joe's DOJ thugs unfairly working in the DA's office, illegally indicted me on a case he never wanted to bring, and virtually all legal scholars say is a case that should not be brought, is breaking the law in doing so. Pomerantz, parenthetically for some reason with an exclamation point, was turned down by all other law enforcement authorities and is not a crime. Period. That's the first sentence. And then happy Easter, everyone. You know, just like Jesus would say. Who takes this seriously? I mean, at some point, even Republicans are going to have to wake up and be like, yikes, is this the team I want to be on? Is this the, the leader of the team I want to be associated with? Nuts. Absolutely nuts. Hey, uh, what do you think? I'd love to know. You can call, leave me a voicemail, 714-576-4054. Of course, you can email me daily at dollamore.com. I would love to hear from you on this. Are you a Christian? Are you a loyal adherent? Do you consider yourself a faithful member of the faith? What do you think? Uh, if you appreciate what I do and you want to help support this work, you want to help produce this work on a video-by-video -video basis for $2 a month, two bucks a month. You can become a channel member right here on YouTube. You can click the join button below this video on YouTube. See what's involved. You can go to patreon.com slash I doubt a podcast. All those are great ways to support this work, help produce these videos, reaching the 10 or 15 or 20 million people that I do every month. Anyway, I love and appreciate you. I'll see you next time. Be genuine. Take care of one another.